بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو اندر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از ویری ویری انٹرسٹنگ ٹل اوریکل ایپیکس ٹوینٹی فور پوائنٹ ٹو پوائنٹ فائیو دس آپشن از ناٹ اویلیبل بائی ڈیفالٹ ان انٹریکٹیو رپورٹس واٹ اٹ از سو ان انٹریکٹیو رپورٹس نارملی اے ڈیولپر نیڈ ٹو ہیو آر انیبل دس فنکشنلٹی سلیکٹ آل or selective records and user will click a button to process only the selected records like this so i have created this demo and we will be doing a practical as well how i enabled it let me show you first so this is my column to select let's say i am selecting this ford and here i am showing in this selection column a y right so if i will submit it should show a y over here like select it right so i will click this set if you see now only with this record which i had selected which is not showing here now a fort it is now y so let me now select multiple records and click set done now there can be requirement let me reset all these y's so now there is no y right i'm going to select all and set so all are selected so normally uh, when you have to process or you have to apply any business logic on certain records based on user selection you need this option in your interactive report. this is your interactive report right in interactive grid it is already there i mean you can get these check boxes over there now how i develop this let me show you step by step and for this i will share the code in this uh, the code link under the video in the description i have explained all these steps are code here okay now let me go to this this is my page a just normal page so first what i did i added one interactive report if you see here it is an interactive report in interactive report in the sql i used this to show checkbox and it will assign the primary key which is in this table amp number because i need this amp number later for any update delete or anything right and i have named it as selected that means i will process only selected records right then i had added one extra column which you might not need that is selection so i will be updating this record with y you can have your own logic but i am just trying to show you in your interactive report that yes these are these were selected and got updated you can have something else as well up to you okay now when i use this check box there is one additional column in this report which is selected right based on this this is not part of the table so this is a plain text if you see on the right and in heading sorry it was hidden in the heading i use this code which is there in that uh, link nothing to worry you can just copy paste now in this what i did i said this is for the header level because i need to use for select all right let me tell you again this is for individual row the check box and this here is for the header to uh when the user will select this or check this it will select all the records right so in this what i did i said okay type is equal to check box in of the, uh, the heading of this uh, column and id will be check all because i need this check all id 
I will be using this in uh, my uh, JavaScript. Okay, I will show you the JavaScript as well because I need to use JavaScript. Okay, another change I did when I click this select all by default it will not show you the checkbox it will show you uh, HTML code so come down and you have to just a moment primary key, where is that column yes by default it will be like this you have to unselect or disable it let me show you if you will get this problem you will have to resolve like this so it will show like this right see the code see it is assigning that uh, amp number to each row to each checkbox so this is in arabic we call it sawalala so all those uh, arabic speakers sawalala okay now uh, next is <clears throat> you have to disable all these for this column for the selected column because i have to uh, make functionality of select all uh, and let so, sorry let me disable this because by default it will not execute html code this is for the security and safety reason so on this column i am saying no go ahead right yes. so this i am talking about this this one the, the top one these all below are part of my SQL, but this top one, which is the heading of this column, see this is heading, right? On which I have to uh, apply this um, JavaScript as well, because this is, uh, it is selecting below using JavaScript. Okay, up to this, I hope so it is clear. Now, I created two buttons. Now, the next point is, if I have selected, then how to take each record or employee number out of it so first let me go to the set this is my set column and it is just submit page okay and process i have two processes process checked nothing to worry this code is also there in that link what i did here i have one for loop uh, in which my i have a variable i counter one two this is my you can say array count which is i added in that uh, first uh, uh, sql for that selected column and it will count gf01 it can be more than one as well this, so this is the first one so it is created first so it will have one the next will be two three like this okay i am looping through those selected because those are checked and added into this and then i am getting the value based on its position let's say for example i am saying i i means so let's say for example the first will be one it will pass here one so at one what is the employee number first selected not all because here only selected will be added right so first selected second selected third selected whatsoever so this loop will work for as many uh, rows which are selected then i am saying since i got the amp number or id or any other column which you have as a primary key here i am updating update amp set selection is equal to y where amp number is equal to this variable or even you can paste directly this one here down up to you i just for the clarity i use this variable you can just put it here as well you can have some other business logic here you can have some insert based on this in other tables or whatever that you can perform here maybe you want to send emails you want to do some any other use case that is up to you but this is the way you can perform it right next is my reset logic nothing i am just updating all with null no other code okay uh, the java code you will click the page the the properties on the right side you will see the properties and below you will get this function and global variable click this 
here if you see i told you in that heading heading of that column i said id is equal to check all so let me copy this let me show you once again just for the understanding this is selected here i use this so i will copy this from here and will use here right this one and here this is the function inside this and input checkbox property checked this dot checked that's it these you can call them through liners code or three liner code whatever up to you let me make it like this right so this code you will enter here and that's it run it again okay let me do it what i will do uh, because sometimes you might get confusion so i will create a fresh report just i'm just copying this uh, data and let me add a region it created a region and then i will select here interactive report this is the interactive report this is just maybe someone is new to oracle apex so for the better understanding i am just doing this additional details or demo right so here i have copied this is my additional code in this which is not part of the table and this is i added one if you don't need to add you can exclude this up to you this i'm just trying to show in the report output right so let me save it i will name it demo 2 because first is there okay and i will move it up so we can see it clearly i will minimize like this okay let's see what happened oh this is how it is there right so see the your first problem will be oh my god why these check boxes are not appearing so what i need to do is cap i will just click this and will select this select it right and go down escape special characters turn it off done right now it is showing now next my challenge is where is my select all so here i can select individual right where is my header check checkbox okay now for that you can even come to this uh, link which will be there in the description and you can come down and if you see here heading of column selected i will take this heading now you have to make sure this should be different because you are already having one id with check all so don't so it will it, it can create problem or you will be confused okay now select it and come up and it will be plain text but here instead of select it i will paste this right and save now one by one we will resolve problem so you will know now there will be another problem okay see it is showing these options as well do i need this selection and our sorting and this one right i don't need it i just need this function see this is looking bad right okay come to the same selected uh, uh, scroll down on the right and i am going to disable these for this column okay done now only select now this is another issue this heading is on the left side this is bit right i mean it's not looking nice right i mean user might say what the hell is this okay let us select this selected again and click this one and this one so one is for heading one is for the values down 
now both will be central justified here okay halas so this way you can have this option rest is uh, your uh, um, uh, these processes which are there in this in, uh, under these buttons you can use them it is there just copy paste and process you can uh, show them but the technical thing was this now in this for example instead of select all i will say select all two right because this is my another uh, checkbox uh, for the selection so what i will do i will take this one i will be updating my uh, uh, adding another function for this selection for check two because that was for this one if that is not there then it, that's okay that's fine right i hope i think i have cleared in much detail although it was not required but uh, for the newcomers it is sometimes required to go into detail otherwise you can't, un can't understand and with a small uh, maybe click like a scap uh, option you will be struggling right so you will have this link and in the description of the video and rest it is explained over here now you can practice it let me remove this to avoid any confusion now i have this because i i want to test right see all are having y reset let me select first and last set first and last is y that's it right please try it practice it and share your feedback if still any question you can ask under the video or in our whatsapp community or in erpstuff.com up to you so thank you very much and allah hafiz